sort of. Well, uh, when I started playing uh, playing with Patti Smith, and we didn't have a drummer, she invited me to to walk to Bowery, and I used to live on the Manhattan. This is the west side. This is the east side, and you just had to cross, kind of, uh, going to the CBGBs and the Bowery right here. So it was easy within walking distance, like 10, 15 minutes. And so we walked, and she said, "You have to see a friend of mine that plays in the band called T Television." And um, at that time, P Patty had a big crush on Tom Belaine. I think they were, you know, a couple, and so that's the first time. But it was just like another stinking, dirty bar. The dogs walking around, there was pee all over, you know, chewing gum. And there were bombs on the, on the side. And uh, there was a homeless, homeless people and drunks. And nobody really gave a shit about uh, who's playing, you know, in the back. There was, um, what do you call it, billiard? Mm -hmm. Billiard, you know, behind the stage. And, Television would play for, like, each song would be 10 minutes, you know, monotone stuff, guitar playing. You know, guitar players get really wired <laughs> in the solos. And there was no clapping or anything. They just went and played billiards and did another set. And that was it. That's, that's what I remember of CBGBs. I guess this must have been in the very beginning when it was still sort of in transition from I mean, I mean it, it, it was really like a wino or biker bar before it came a music venue, uh, and then it sort of turned into the main spot for the for the new wave bands. Uh, so I guess the audience changed after that. Well, what happened it was really it was kind of a place for us nobodies that you know kind of didn't want, couldn't afford to go downtown. I mean uptown, sorry, or go to discotheques and. Uh, there were these bands like Led Zeppelin and Elton John, they were already playing Madison Square Garden and it was very expensive to go to. So us, like kind of like homeless people, didn't have a place to play music. Uh, we found this out of place, uh, place like CBGB's and it became kind of like our home and slowly we just knew everyone from the band, and we were just getting together, calling each other, you know, so-and-so is playing, but it was, nobody knew about it. It was just that, uh, we were just friends, and we just kind of, it was our secret place to, to get together. The film, uh, you made the film with um, uh, Amos Poe, who went on.